The United Nations will celebrate International Tea Day on Tuesday, May 21st, with a live webcast from Rome. This year's theme is Honoring Women Around the World from Crop to Cup. Hours are 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. CEST, that's Rome, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. EST, New York, and 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. BJT, Beijing. FAO Director General Dong Yu Chu will inaugurate the event. His address will be followed at 9.30 a.m. by a global dialogue with women representing the tea and coffee sectors. An exhibition and tasting of tea and coffee will follow from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The address can be heard in Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian, and Spanish. Access is free. Visit fao.org slash international hyphen t hyphen day to find the link to log in or visit the TBIS blog. The Tea and Herbal Association of Canada's SOFA Summit is scheduled from 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. EST. THAC President Shabnam Weber hosts the annual live stream. Twenty guests participate in casual interviews throughout the day. The schedule consists of half-hour conversations with government and tea association officials, tea professionals, retailers, blenders, growers, brand owners, and tea makers. The Shabnam's a delightful host touring Vietnam, Sri Lanka, India, Malawi, the U.S., the U.K., Canada, Argentina, Australia, and China, all in one day. Finally, next week, the Purple and Specialty Tea Association of Kenya, PSTAC, will hold its inaugural conference in the Nandy Hills on May 22nd and 23rd. The event, endorsed by the Kenya Tea Board, spotlights Africa's untapped potential in orthodox tea production. According to organizer Boaz Kata, founder of Tamoy Tea, the conference will include tours, tastings, and presentations relevant to tea professionals. Register at the Kenya Tea Board website. East West Tea Company, makers of Yogi Tea, voluntarily recalled 877,000 tea bags because of high levels of pesticide residue. The Yogi non-GMO, caffeine-free, organic Yogi Echinacea Immune Support Herbal Supplement tea bags are distributed in the U.S. and Canada. There are no reports of illness associated with the product. The recall was initiated on March 12th when Yogi notified the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. No press release was issued. On April 19th, Yogi notified retailers and wholesalers to withdraw individual tea bags, packs containing 16 tea bags, and boxes of four packs. The company identified 35 lots in its disclosure. It is unclear how many of the 54,846 packs were sold to consumers. Individual packs on Amazon.com sell for $13.24 Canadian dollars in Canada or $8.28 in the U.S. The notification was classified as a Class 3 event, indicating that consumers who drink the tea are not likely to experience adverse health consequences. The reason cited was, quote, pesticide residues detected above action levels, end quote. The amounts and maximum residue levels, MRLs, were not disclosed. MRLs are legal and enforceable limits for individual chemicals and combination of chemicals used to protect plants from insects, weeds, and diseases. An investigation is ongoing. If you have purchased the product, either discard it or return it to the place of purchase for a possible refund. East West provides this phone number, 1-800-964-4832, for additional information and has a customer service link on its website. Kenyan President William Ruto urged key policymakers and Kenya Tea Development Agency factory chairmen and directors 
to step up efforts to brand tea, boost farmer income, and increase the country's visibility in the global market. Kenya currently exports about 90% of its tea in bulk at prices that average $1.50 to $2 per kilo. Adding value will fetch the best price for farmers, he said. Ruto said he is dissatisfied with the progress made since last year when he told KTDA factory operators they must export at least 60% processed and branded tea in three to five years. Quote, Last year, we did away with taxes on packaging materials for tea. We therefore have to expand common user facilities and add value to our tea, and quote, Ruto said, adding, quote, We are the largest tea producer in the world, yet we don't have a Kenyan tea brand, and therefore our product gets lower prices than those of countries that produce less than we do, end quote. He said KTDA factories must establish common user facilities. We cannot continue exporting our tea in sacks, he said. KTDA and the Tea Board of Kenya must work together to brand our tea. He also announced that KTDA's 69 factories could no longer charge farmers a 2.5% management fee and directed that it be reduced to 1.5%. President Ruto encouraged KTDA to hold free and fair elections, emphasizing that the government has no preferred candidate. A third of KTDA's directors are elected annually. The 60 directors from Moronga's 10 KTDA factories are running for re-election in June. Those attending the May 14th meeting at the State House in Nairobi included Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheruyut from Karako and Senator Kamu Marango from Karyaga, as well as several members of Parliament. Quote, we will meet here in three months to assess the progress in resolving all the issues you have raised, end quote, Ruto told the tea leaders. Produced by Audavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.